All right, welcome back to the disgusting beer review. We have been away for a long time, being that we were sailing on the high seas, scavenging and pillaging. You know, a lot of uh, pirate stuff, pirate shirt. Today, we have America's Original Pumpkin Ale from Buffalo Bill's Brewery. I have never had this beer and I'm, I like pumpkin ales, but they all seem to taste the same. Uh, we need a bottle opener, I believe. <laughs> Time. All right, let's see what this thing is. A lot of foam, or smoke. Just a smoked beer? It's foam. You saw that pour, it was nice and clean. What the hell? Um, okay. Might have to come back in 10 minutes for this. Well, a little bit ahead. Uh, Orangish yellow color, from what I can tell. Wow. Or another glass. That's crazy. Let's try it. Alright, that one's still better. Look at that just foaming up like crazy. Odd shaped head, too. Look at that. Maybe it's the glass. <laughs> Tons of carbonation. Look at that. Can you pick that up? That's nuts. All right. Get a smell. Mm. Cinnamon, banana, cloves, all your basic pumpkin stuff, but no pumpkin, like usual. All right, let's try it. Wow, sour. Very sour. We don't usually rip on craft beer. It's pretty rare. But this is not very good pumpkin ale. Oh. This tastes like a sour. Absolutely tastes like a sour. How old is this thing? 2011. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is. Oh, it's making my my eyes water. Not very good. Not very good at all. Here, yeah, this one. Um, a good pumpkin ale, maybe. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's turning my stomach, man. I think I might pair this with Pepto Bismol. Mm. Might need some of that after this. I don't like it. Not good at all. Okay. Um, Overall rating? Uh, one. One. Not good at all. Well, oh, terrible. Pucker power. Welcome to Saturday Discussing Beer Review. We're back from a small hiatus, and uh, today we got uh, America's Original Pumpkin Ale, and this is brought to you by Buffalo Bill's Brewery. Uh, ale brewed with real pumpkin and natural spice flavor. Uh, brewed in Hayward, California. Oh, bottled all over the place. So hey, this is 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. And uh, it says enjoy by 12, 12, 12. So hey, we're a little bit late. Oops. Should be <laughs> chilled to perfection. Has has had a little bit of a pour here. That's our uh, in our uh, Metro Detroit glass. Perfect. Got to represent. And I I do smell a little bit of pumpkin. It does have a little bit of sm spice scent to it. 
Nothing really distinctive or uh, really jumps out of you or, or, you know, from it. Um, let's go after it. It does have a, it does have a, that, uh, like a dishwater flavor to it. <laughs> I don't really taste any pumpkin. I, I really don't. It's, I smell a little bit of, you know, a little bit of the, uh, of, of a fall pumpkin, of a fall night of Charlie Brown's Great Pumpkin. It does have a bit of that, that smell to it, that very, very reminiscent. Let's go take a hayride and we'll vomit. Kind of, this is what it kind of makes me think of, so. It finishes terrible. I don't know how else to explain it. The original flavor is, it's kind of bland, but then it has like the, uh, a finishing of uh, um, that spice, sp uh, spicy. Uh, if you threw some nutmeg in dishwater, I would compare it to that. So that's kind of how it, the, the flavor that it finishes with. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. I would. It's not the most atrocious thing I've ever had, but it's far from being good. Um, if I was if I was gonna pair this with something, oh, a McDonald's pumpkin pie. Do they even make pumpkin pie? They used to. They used to have a pumpkin. Pie. I swear, at least before, they used to have a pumpkin pie. Came in the little the little sleeve, and uh, just around the you know around that time of year. And it's atrocious. So. Uh, Ha <laughs> ha There we go. Uh, overall, be a little more generous. I'm gonna go one and a half mark heads. Not the worst they've ever had, but I would never buy this. Yeah. But you did. I did buy it. I did buy it.